you see that? She met up with her lover. Now she's back home like it's nothing. Tahir, look what I got you. I don't know what happened, but she's putting on airs. We'll find out soon enough. Ah, uh, if I hadn't lost her at the bazaar, I would have totally exposed her already. Now you mark my words. If I don't expose what she's up to and soon, then my name is not Gazelle. Tahir, come over here now! If there is something like that, Alas will throw her to the curb. That's what I'm saying. Of course he will. Why have that unfaithful woman as a wife? Especially when there's me. Hello there. Hello. I'm not going to beat around the bush, Sebnim. Nagame is very angry with you. I've never seen her like this before. She wanted me to give her your number, but I didn't. She's upset enough. I don't want to see her any more upset. I didn't want to make her upset. But you did. Anyway, what happened, happened. She's so angry right now, I'm afraid things will get worse if you see each other. Don't worry, Hakan. I'm leaving here. But I would like to talk to her before I leave, though. Sebna, Nagme's pregnant. It wouldn't be good for her or the baby's health. I'd really like her to hear that I'm leaving for me. And besides, I owe her an apology. The best apology would be to just leave. Just go. And I will, Hakan. But first, we need to confront each other. Otherwise, we'll both keep on carrying what had happened inside of us. She needs her closure, and I need to lessen my guilty conscience. Hi, Hakan. What? Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Tell Sebnim. I will. I will call her. Oof. Oh. I wonder if Samal talked to Sebnim. Hold on, dear. Calm down. Samal will be here soon and tell us. Well, maybe I should call him. Well, I just don't know what to do. If I call him and Samal is angry, then he'll take it out on me, won't he? Of course he's angry. My boys are trying so hard to save the company. They have a huge burden on their shoulders. Kudret has pushed them as much as he possibly can. I don't know why he's given them such a hard time. Well, I know Kudret is very stubborn, but he can't say no to Sebnem. Mark my words, this'll all be resolved because of Sebnem, I just know it. Uh, I hope so. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mom. Welcome, hubby. Hey, what's up? So here. You have company, huh? I'll be upstairs in the shower. Uh, I'll be right there, my dear. He makes me rub his back every time. He'll be disappointed if I don't go. listening. 
Nag me. I'm so sorry for what happened. It's a bit too late for I'm sorry's. No matter what you say, I won't forgive you. So please don't waste your time on some apology. Then why do you agree to this? Because I didn't want you to get away with it. Okay. I get it. You're angry with me. Did you say angry? <laughs> Anger alone isn't enough to express what I feel, Sebnem. All right then, go on. The floor is yours. Don't you try playing me too. I'm not buying your innocent girl act. Nagme, I really am sorry for this. Don't believe you, because if you really had a guilty conscience, then you would not have done this to me from the beginning. You looked me in the eye and you told me that you felt nothing for Edger. I really didn't then. You're lying to me. I realized that the first time I saw you, I'm not buying that I liked you in time, lie. These things don't happen in time. It's either there or not the first time you see someone. Maybe you're right. Maybe I couldn't even admit it to myself. I don't know. But believe me, this is very hard on me too. Because... What did you think would happen? What did you hope would happen? Was Ed sure supposed to break up with me and be with you? Would you be able to have happy dreams over my shattered dreams? Can one person's end be another person's survival, really? See what I'm saying? He's got no shame. Not at all. There's no shame. A cup of tea, please. I feel sorry for you. Can you believe he sits here? You talking to me? Fosley. What is it, Sully? Am I wrong? Basir used to be a stand-up guy. But now no one can take him the least bit seriously. You're trying to say something? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying it. What are you saying? Come on, let's hear it. Easy, man. Come on now. Not here. Are you kidding me, Sully? I'm not doing anything wrong. What they did is wrong, okay? Want me to rearrange your face? <laughs> Back down, bro. Protect your sister. You know who she is. She's Kudred Soilo's mistress now. What? Bosley, sit down. This is wrong. Let me see. Oh, my husband smells so good, doesn't he now? I'm going to eat, Gusell. We're almost there, Alice. You'll soon kneel down and beg me to be your wife, won't you? Uh-uh. What's this? I see, Alice. I guess you were gonna make it a surprise. Oh, all the while I was thinking all those things. This whole time he was treating me bad not to give away the surprise he was planning. Oh, he totally loves me. It doesn't mean anything, but I am sorry, Nagme. I'm really sorry for what I've put you through. I'm leaving, though. I promise you won't ever see me again. Oh, 
Where did that necklace come from? Did you go shopping today? Of course not. What would I do around shopping? Instead, you should ask that to the shoppers. Then where did it come from? My husband gave me a surprise. I'll thank you personally later on, honey. Nakon would believe me. Hold on to what makes you happy. Look at Nagme and Eshter. Look at how they are now. That's not true. Enough then. Stop talking and eat. Go on now. Take care of yourself. I'll give you a ride. I'll take a cab. It's hard to find a cab this late. Come on. I bought that necklace for you. I do. I don't want you to be sad. I will bring that necklace back to you, just like our stolen lives. What happened, happened. Don't do anything. Please don't make Gazelle sad either. But look, you're sad too. <sighs> okay. I'm not sad anymore, it's over. Okay. We've had enough of you. You're now with Kudra at Soilu, is that hey, it? Enough, man. Uh. Leave me alone, okay? Thank you, Nagme. We're okay. I didn't know if it was cool for this to happen, but I'm really happy you wanted to. Because maybe I'm doing this to lessen the guilt I feel, you know? Eshder loves you very much. And you deserve that love in every way. this time. Kudret will marry me. I will live with my honor now. Elvan, are you crazy? You're gonna marry a man who's as old as our father is, are you? Don't be a fool. He's the richest around here. Besides, how long do you think he'll live? He just has one daughter. Opportunity is knocking on our door. Do you hear what you're saying? You're dreaming again. This is all a fantasy. 
You were talking about honor. I'll get married and save both our honors, yours and mine. I will be Kudret Soilu's wife. Think about it. Okay. And that's what we'll tell other people. Other people, other people. Have you heard those people saying anything to our landlords? It's all about the money. People will forget about what happened. There's no dirt that money can't cover. People talking behind you today will call you Mr. Basir the next. Brother, let me do this. Let me get married to Kudret. Look, our destinies will change. These are all lies, Basir, though. I swear these aren't lies. Believe me, he's crazy about me. And he will make me his wife in no time. We will all be saved. I heard what you said to him. I was gonna leave early, but I'm not anymore. At least not before I kick you out of this house. I'm going to tell my dad everything. We'll see what he'll do with you then. Sebnem! Sebnem, listen! Sebnem, you got it all wrong. Listen to me. Sebnem, listen to me. Sebnem, please listen. Sebnem. Look, you don't know my brother. I told him that so he'd back off. He'll kill me otherwise. Do you think I'm stupid or something? I'm telling you the truth, I swear it. You can't fool me pretending to be a victim. I'm telling my dad. <sighs> you won't say anything. Uh, let go of me. I said you won't say uh, anything. Sebnem? Elvan? 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 Didn't you hear me calling for you? No, I didn't. Uh, um, my door was closed, that's why. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Well, is Sebnem here yet? She isn't here yet. Oh, goodness gracious. Where on earth could she possibly be? What is it? What are these? What are these? What? 
I got us a wedding date. <laughs> what the hell? You're not happy, is that I, of it? Of course I am, I am. Of course I'm happy. You said it so suddenly. I was surprised. Uh, don't worry. From now on, things will be a lot different. I'm going to make you very happy. Very. Semnem and you talked, didn't you? You told me I didn't care about you. I guess this makes us even. there. What are you doing here? Well, the animals have run out of hay. I'm here to get some for them to eat. Oh, but you're a guest here. Please leave that kind of thing alone. Oh, it's okay. I really don't mind. No, no. Come on. You go home. Go on now. Uh, are you here to clean up? I'll help you. And you can help our friends preparing the breakfast. They will prepare the breakfast soon and without you, my dear. Go ahead now. Mr. Kudred is going to wake up shortly. Okay.
Good luck with that. Thank you, dear. Good morning, Gulseren. Good morning, sir. Hasn't Elvan come down no, yet? No, she hasn't. And Sebnem? She didn't come home last night, sir. She didn't, huh? Goodness gracious. Good morning there. Good morning. Uh, my daughter Sebnem, she hasn't returned home from last night yet. When I heard that phone was ringing, I thought that maybe it was her calling. My phone also rang a little while ago. Maybe that's what you heard. Ah, maybe. <laughs> it isn't like her not to call or to come home. I wonder where she's gone off to. I'm very sorry. I bothered you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so sorry. I just had to talk to her, etched her. So my words weren't enough for you, is that it? It had nothing to do with you. There were things that I wanted to tell her myself. I wanted to get rid of the thoughts that were bothering me. This is not about you talking to Sebnem, isn't it? This is about you not trusting me. 
You're right. I should have let you know, but I knew that you wouldn't have let me go. You'd call me selfish if I'd done the same thing. I felt broken when you told me that I didn't care about you anymore. I was so hard on myself thinking where I went wrong. But now I see you don't really care about me anymore. You know that's not true, Edgeter. That's what I thought. You looked me in the eye and told me you didn't know what to believe in anymore. I don't know what to believe in anymore too, because I'm so tired, Nagme. I'm not gonna prove anything to you from now on. Nothing. When Semnem comes home, you'll let me know, won't you, dear? I will, and don't worry. Hmm. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Where'd she go? Hasibe. I water them day and night, but they end up going dry Watch anyway. Watch out before they go dry. You know Mr. Kudret loves his flowers and trees the way he does. Ramazan, I always tell you to keep the pen door closed, don't I? What's wrong with you? You forgot Just keep it again, quiet. Didn't you? Keep quiet. Goodness gracious, I thought I closed it.
Hasibe? Hasibe, come here. The dumpling dough has melted. Oh, my goodness, those beautiful dumplings. Hey! What's his endless anger and the grudge he holds? The man doesn't do anything then mess with us like he's our enemy, you know? I don't think he's being an enemy. He cares about the money. He saw we're limping and he's biting down. Yeah, the man is greedy. He has one daughter, yet he still doesn't feel satisfied. I guess he'll take his money to his grave. My Uncle Kudred is a compassionate man for all I know. Ah, we've seen his compassion. That man would kill us all if he had that kind of time. Is my uncle responsible for everything bad that happens to us? Nobody says anything to Nogme about such things. What does this have to do with me? Because if it wasn't for your jealousy, none of this would have happened to us, my dear. Safika, please give it a rest. You should have said that to your wife. If it wasn't for her caprices, Zebnim would have helped us. Easy when you talk about my wife. Listen to me, Ejder. Until now, I kept my mouth shut and didn't say a word to you. But you're pushing the family into a disaster because of your wife, you hear me? Open your eyes now, open them! What's that supposed to mean, Safika? What's going on with you acting so crazy? Safika, I'd give my life for this family if I need to. And about this Sebnem issue, what's that got to do with Nagme? I didn't want to partner with her anyway. But you weren't saying that. That's back right. Then. No, I wasn't. Because I thought Sebnem's intention was to do business, but I was wrong. All right. Enough now. Enough with that now. It's dead. Nagme. Listen, Safika. Watch your words, you hear me? Or I'll break your heart like never before. But, Mother, listen! Ah! As if Nogme is the one who brought down this company. Simal, say something to your wife. Keep her quiet, won't you? Mom, Safika is not wrong by a long shot. Ah, uh, Simal. Ah, uh, you've managed to make me angry. Do as you please. I'm leaving now. Safika doesn't know what she's saying. It's not what Safika said. I just feel sad because everybody thinks that. Maybe nobody says that to my face, but everybody blames me for what happened, don't they? Honey, <laughs> nobody's blaming you for everything. Samal is the only one responsible, okay? Stop blaming yourself for anything that's happened. <laughs> Come on. Don't cry. I can't bear seeing those tears, you know that. If it wasn't for me, maybe you would have been partners with Sebnim. And you would have saved the company. <laughs> but I have you. I wouldn't do such a thing knowing it would make you sad. I don't know, maybe I should have stopped myself. But I just couldn't. I couldn't keep quiet seeing Sebnam's interest in you the way that she wanted you. Look, honey. Uh, what's that got to do with us? Please, now. Let's not talk about the subject, okay? Don't drag it out. Well, come on now. Pull yourself together. Come. No more crying now, okay?
Now stop struggling. Nobody can hear you anyway. Calm down. I don't plan on hurting you. If you learn to keep quiet, nothing will happen to you, okay? But you need to stay here for a while. At least until I marry your father, that is. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand me, and I don't really care. But I will never let you get in my way, do you hear me? Even the Yenomez family is about to kneel before me, so I won't let anybody stop me from doing what's necessary to do. Understand me. Come on, honey, where are you? Where are you, darling? Answer the phone, answer the phone already. Yeah? Ah, hmm? uh, Sakir, welcome. Thank you for seeing me, sir. What happened? Any news from Sebnem? Anybody seen her? Unfortunately, no, sir. I've been looking for her everywhere since this morning. I talked to everybody, but she's not around. Oh, goodness gracious, where could she possibly be now? Well, sometimes she visits the villages to talk to the women. I do know that. Have you checked those places? I have, sir. Yes, of course I have, sir. I checked everywhere possible. Our guys even checked all the hospitals. Oh, goodness gracious. What happened to that girl? I can't reach her through her phone, either. I don't mean to anger you, Mr. Kudrat. Don't get me wrong, sir, but don't you remember Miss Sebnem got angry with somebody before and left the place without telling anybody? And? Well, maybe she's just mad and cooling off, sir. I hope so, Sakir. I hope so. I hope nothing bad has happened to her. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, sir. All right, now, thank you. Oh, honey, what happened to you? Where have you been? I'm begging you, please answer the phone. No. 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 No! <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, honey, oh dear. Where have you been, honey? How are we going to find you? Where do we look? <sighs> Should I call the authorities? No way. What if Sakir is right and she got mad at something and left to cool off? Then it would be in vain. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, don't worry about me. What's happened lately got me all worked up. And because I don't want to argue with you, I just wanted to get away and stay away for a little while. I know you'll understand me. Look at you. She's got all worked up. So what am I doing here? <laughs> I thought about it, Dad. It's not my place to say anything about you marrying Elvin. I hope you'll both be very happy, though. I, uh, I knew you'd understand your father eventually, you silly girl. Thank you, God. Oh. There aren't many people who can afford it. You know that man. I can't think of anybody besides Kudret and Kunate, but yet I think we should find another buyer here. Look at the things we're talking about. We're almost going to pray to have our estate sold out from under us now. We will lose everything that we have. We will lose this farm as well. Shh. Don't even say that in jest. But I'm telling the truth. Isn't it true? What's going to happen when this farm is sold? Are we going to live in one small flat like farmhands and just turn over on our backs and die? We will live in a one-bedroom flat like farmhands, if that's what we need to do. That's easy for you to say. I'll check back with you when the farm is sold. To hell with the farm. When we came here from Van, we stayed in a one-bedroom room, Sefika. We didn't all grow up in such luxury and such mansions. We didn't have anything when I married Mammoth. Mammoth worked so hard, clawed his way up here, and did everything step by step. You can get used to living poor, but when you've been rich and then you become poor, it'll devastate you. Nobody will become devastated, dear. As long as we unite, nothing can happen to us. Thank God my sons are in good health. They will work like their fathers and build up again. As long as they remain healthy. Ah, if being healthy was enough. Hey, what the hell? What will be, will be. We can live in a smaller house for a few years and manage with little. With a little help. What's wrong, my dear? Where are you going? I thought it'd be better if I stayed at my mother's house. What's that supposed to mean? Where did this come from? Are you resenting the things Safika said to you? I said what everybody knows, yet I'm the guilty one here, I see. I'm afraid I'd get upset again if I stay. Something could affect my baby. We wouldn't want that. My grandchild is more important than anything. Okay, dear, if you're going to feel better, stay with your mother for a while. You have my blessing. Thank you for your understanding. Don't mention it, dear. I want you both to remain healthy. The rest is not important. I'll give you a ride. Goodbye to all of you. All right, dear. We'll be seeing you. 
Well, silver lining, at least for the time being. We won't have to deal with Nagme's issues. That's all I'm saying. Ugh. I'm not mad at Safika. She talks like that because she thinks of her children's future. But honey, don't think like that. Look, when you upset yourself, it really affects our baby. That's only why I approve of this. My mom's been saving money for my education since I was a kid. We didn't use it because I came to Bursa. I'll ask for it. It isn't a small amount either. It'd be enough for you to set things right. Darling, stop feeling guilty about not contributing, okay? But I want to do something for you now. I only want you to take care of our baby. I don't need anything else from you. Please, Edgeter, let me do something. I'll feel better, I know I will. Honey, there's no need for you to feel so badly. That's your mother's too. But she saved it for me to use though. Okay, for you, yeah. But honey, please, we've been through this before. Don't keep at it, okay? Guys, that looks great. Thank you. What are you going to cook? Actually, we made dumplings sometime in the morning. They got sticky because it's hot. She didn't think to put them in the fridge. If you're hungry, though, I can make you something right now. No, I'm not hungry. Uh, I was gonna cook something for Mr. Coudret with my own hands. Oh, Miss Elvan, no, you mustn't do that. If Mr. Coudret finds out we let you do any work, he'll fire us on the spot. Don't you worry, it's okay. Just get me whatever I want. Let's start with kebab with eggplant. Bring me the eggplants. Come on! Don't stare at me, come on, come on! Uh, welcome, sir. Good to see you. Well, God loves me so much that he sent me someone with a good heart that sings like you, dear. Your face reflects the purity of your heart. Your voice is like the birds as they sing from on high. Don't lower your head down, dear. You've brought back love and joy to this house. Now, come on, carry on now. The song? Salına da, salına da gel Haydi yavrum dön dolaş yine bana gel Nakme, what is with that long face of yours? <sighs> it's not going well at the farm. <laughs> How could things be well when there are so many people living in one place like that? Come on, dear. Mother, don't start about that. Okay, you get angry so quickly. What happened? Tell me, I'm all ears. Come on, Nakme, you have my full attention. The company's not doing well. They might even go bankrupt. Ha! Huh. That's just what we need. Are you going to have financial problems too? It's a little bit because of me. If Sebnem gave them money one way or another, the company would have been saved. But then you would have lost your husband. Oh, you... Fine then, all right, fine then. 
Don't worry about it. Besides, what can you do? That's what upsets me. I can't do anything. Edgeter is so depressed. Come on, are you gonna save the company while you're pregnant? Is that it? Actually, there is something I can do. You haven't used the money that you put away from me, right? And? Well, I need that money, Mother. They're my family as well. And I have to do something to help them out. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah. Uh, Semnim finally sent a message back to us. Yeah? Yeah. So where is she? Oh, she hasn't told us where she is exactly. She says not to worry about her, though. And she has finally accepted us getting married. She told me to do whatever I wanted to do. Look, look. <laughs> I'm so happy. It was important to me to get her consent. After all, I don't want to be an enemy. Of course not, sweetheart. I would have convinced her in the end. I wasn't going to live all by myself in this whole house, just waiting to live out my life alone. And I want to marry you. I want to marry you as well. I believe I'm going to be happier than I've ever been in my life, you know? If you want to... We can have a small ceremony for the people and put an end to all of the rumors. I and my family will be cared for. No, not like that. But you told me that you wanted to get married. Yes, I did. So? But not like that. What I'm saying is, I don't want some charade of a ceremony. Your family should hold their heads way up high, my dear. They should be proud and also honorable. Everything will be according to our customs, my darling. I will even go and ask for your hand. Sir, you really don't need to do that for me. Just a little gathering would be enough. Besides, I don't have a father, Kudret. So what then? You have a mother and a brother. But they... No buts of any kind. I don't want you to be deprived of anything. You will hold your head up high. The driver will take you. Go and tell your mother. Maybe she'd like to know. Tell her that I will come and ask for your hand to marry you. Kudret does things by the book. You'll get to know that about me. Okay, then? Okay. Then it's a deal. It's a deal. All right, then. Listen to me, dear. Do you hear what you're saying? Well, do you? I do. Yes, I know what I'm talking about, Mom. Besides, that money is my right. It is. I mean, it was. But you didn't use that right correctly. You chose to get married yourself. Now that money is my grandchild's right. Mother. No, never. If you have any presence of mine, you will forget what you just asked of me. See that? Let me tell you. You told me that you're going bankrupt. Let me take care of my grandchild's future. They will set things straight if they have that money. Things will be all right. How do you know they won't waste that money, my dear? I saved that money by sacrificing my needs and selling all my father had left to me. I'm not the one to clean up your husband's mess. They're not at an irreparable point yet. They just need a little capital right now. I could care less. Say I give him money and that money goes, then you don't have anything left at all. Your husband doesn't. Now I'm broke. Are you going to be left alone with your child as well? Mother, they had a chance with Sebnem, but because of me, they rejected it. That money was gonna save them. And if they go bankrupt because of my stupid jealousy, then can't you see how guilty I'll feel about this forever, Mom? Just think about your baby, Nagme. I will only spend that money on my grandchild's future. That's Mother, it. listen to me. You have to try Don't even. I don't even want to hear about it. As long as I am walking this earth, forget about that money. <sighs> we 
We're all separated. I would never have thought this family would be torn apart like this. Wasn't it torn apart already? We've been like strangers who have had to live in the same house for some time, haven't we? I'm thinking about my son and my man. We've been holding on to each other through these times, and now I'm scared that I'll lose everything I have, Jamil. Don't be scared, Besame. <sighs> now, maybe from now on, everything will be better. Maybe you'll have the life you deserve. You will hug your son, not fearing anything. <laughs> You're right. I don't want anything. No money, no houses. Just my son, my man. That's enough. I can live in the small things. <laughs> While everyone's trying to find some money, she's thinking about uniting with her lover. I hope she leaves so I can be rid of them both. Hey, whose car is that? Let's find out. See that? Whose car is it? I don't know. See Look that? at it. Who's getting oh. out? Who is Who it? Who suppose it is? <gasps> Look, Look at that. Oh, wow. Hey, that's Alvon. Oh, wow. Take a look, look at her. Look, look, she's showing off. I wonder who she's with now all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my, Mother. honey. Oh. 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 <laughs> Welcome, honey. How are you? Are you okay? Thank you, Mother. I'm good. How about you? Thank goodness. Come on, get inside now. Hey, what's with that face, huh? I'm not in the mood for jokes, Hakan. I feel so helpless right now. What's wrong now? Edgeter's company's verging on bankruptcy. If this continues like this, they'll lose the farm. Of course, that is also my fault. Why is that? You know why. Edgeter was going to partner up with Sepnam and save the workshop. But he couldn't do it because of my jealousy. Hey, come on now. That girl didn't care about doing business. I know that. But I feel bad anyway. I can't help it. If it wasn't for me, the workshop would have been salvaged. It is, Nagme. Yes, it is because of you. You are a very bad woman. You caused them to go broke. You good now? Are you happy? We just can't seem to get Sebnam out of our lives. She's not here, but her shadow keeps following us. I wonder what she did about that fun thing. She did tell me she would find it. Don't know. I've got no knowledge. If he can get that fund, it could be your way out of this thing. Hold on, I'm gonna call her. Don't, Hakan, forget it. Can I do this? This will have nothing to do with you. It shut off. <sighs> 